Greetings everyone and welcome to Mortal Cell. In this video I'm going to show you the strategy I'm using to defeat Hadern and unlock its cell and Axakatanas with the easiest way possible. There are usually some specific patterns but I'm just using specific strategies to defeat the Hadderns the easiest way I can. The first way is to defeat him without any upgrades. I highly don't recommend to do that. It took me around 18 minutes to complete the fight because I was using the Solomon cell with the hollow sword without any upgrades and as you can see the damage is just dreadful. There are a few benefits by doing this tactic. You will unlock uh, the Hadern and Axakatana without spending any quenching acid or any resources for the cells and the weapons as I told you the downside, it's a long, very, very, very long uh, battle. To give you an understanding, I did this with Haros the Vassal and a fully upgraded Hollow Sword plus 5. In a first playthrough I have previously saved and it took me 7 minutes to complete the fight. So you see, it's, uh, you save at least 10 minutes. But it's up to you what st uh, strategy you want to use. But without any further delay, let's explain a little bit the strategy. First things first, the cell I recommend to use without any upgrades is Solomon because he has the best stats, a balance of high hit points, high stamina compared to Erdim that has dreadful stamina but very high hit points, or TL that has very good stamina but dreadful hit points. The tactic works like this. First, we need to bait a specific attack from Hadern. This is the attack we want when he hardens himself and stays in between animations. When that happens, we take a little bit our distance and replenish our stamina. As soon as his hardened duration ends and he is almost in the end of his attack animation, we will use a heavy jumping running attack. In order to perform so, you have to practice a little bit, you just run even for a split second and press the heavy attack button. In order to avoid getting hit ourselves, we can use our Harden right after the attack or while we're in the air, in case he attacks once again. And we're going to repeat this until we beat him two times, because there are two phases, one with the dual katanas and the second phase with his big axe. There are a few tips that may help speed a little things up, Sometimes you may be able to hit him once or twice in between the animations, although it's a little risky and I don't recommend it, but it's up to you honestly what you want to do and how much you are willing to risk it. Be very careful during the first phase, he doesn't deal a lot of damage, but he can stagger you and deal an incredible amount of damage very fast in case you're out of stamina and he just stun locks you to almost death. In the second phase, with his axe, although it seems slower, it can trick you sometimes, some of his attacks can be a little faster and if you get staggered you can just get comboed two or three times, getting once again a ridiculous amount of damage very fast, so don't make any risky moves there as well. Before your main run, just do a couple of tries to see how it works in the pattern and quit out so you can restart the fight without any disadvantages and without any losses and waste of resources to have the main fight after a couple of tries so you can just spare a couple let's say of healing items in case you are very close to beating him and you just don't want to restart all over again without any resources. And for my final tip, in case you want to go with an upgraded cell Eredim is arguably the best because it deals most of the damage, increased damage in alone targets, a stack of increasing damage each time you defeat enemies that uh, remains with you unless you get separated by Eredim and you can also deal increased poise damage to stagger harder a couple of times and help you to just speed things up. You don't gain any other benefits other than speeding the process and not wasting let's say 15 to 20 minutes to doing a boss fight you will just need i don't know 5 to 10 minutes to complete so i will leave you the full run i did with haros the vassal it's an almost fully upgraded cell with a plus 5 holo sword so the damage is maximized for the pl first playthrough 
and thus it took me around 7 minutes, which in comparison I needed more than 10 extra minutes without any upgrade for the weapon and the cell. I do plan to prepare a separate video to show you similar tactics to fight harder and unlock the weapons easier during your first playthrough for the Martis Blade, the Hammer and the Mace. I really hope this video will help you unlock Hadern and the Axatana easier for your first or second playthrough and feel free to like if you liked and you can subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming videos for Mortal Cell and many other video games and as always I wish you all a wonderful day.